back out. This time, I'm on a steep, steep hill. I think I've done the steep bit. Oh my God, it really was steep. Let's see now. Here's the rain on, just as a set off. Brilliant. Never rained all day. As soon as I set off, bang, down it comes. Unbelievable. Oh, that was steep. Oh, yeah. Woo. I have to come back when I get my breath back. Drone footage. Bulls water. All them felt. All them. Blend Cathra. Great Mail Fell. Pitch. Windswept Hero. He's got this hood's oh, crap. The hood on this really rubbish. Should have a cap. Alright, no time to muck about. I'm going to get this tent up and get in as the rain's coming. Good night, this like. <laughs> Ears. I saw that's the tent up. The wind is terrible. It's coming straight on to the side and it's blowing that open. So if I have the door open there, it's blowing the wind in. If I turn it around too much, it's blowing on the big panel. That's the way to have it. Look, it's not moving. It's not even moving that tent. Flapping in a my ass. It's not flapping. If the inner of your solo is flapping, right? You haven't pitched it properly. Simple as that. You haven't pitched it properly. Shouldn't flap inside that. Not a solo. All right, so I'm going to get the rest of my stuff in because here's the rain coming. The wind is due to change and come in from this direction tomorrow overnight. So that's why I've had to do that. Ah. Oh, I just want to get in and get out the wind. It's always windy, man. It's depressing, this wind. It never bloody stops. I know I keep moaning about the wind, but my God, man. When we're going to ever get rid of this wind? When's it going to stop? This winter's gone on for like 10 years. <laughs> Blend Castro looking good. Should have went up there. Right, anyway, let's get the stuff in. Rain's on. Well, of course, a new mattress to try out. Very bright orange thing. A Flextail regular, well, it's 183 by 65 by seven. So centi seven centimeters. 70 mil, that's a big, that's not bad that. And it's with the R5 rated. It's supposed to be good. It's got, um, I'll put it in the description, right? There's a big, massive PDF file of all the, um, what do you call it? All the specifications. I've done a lot of testing, like deflation tests and that. So dual valve, thermal insulation, keeps warm and comfortable. 690 grams. That's what it is. 100% nylon, 100% polyester fiber filling, and it's got aluminized film, PET aluminized film. That'll be the uh, insulation. Storage size is 13 by 27.5 and the inflated size 183 by 65. What well, was it on the front, wasn't it? So the rating, rating minus 18 and minus 7. I don't But we'll see. I'll get it up, I'll get it inflated and we'll have a look. So this is another one to try out. Nothing wrong with the other one, it's just 
just like to uh, experiment, you know. Here we are. It's up. I forgot my little flex tail pump, so I had to blow it up with my mouth. Don't recommend doing that, right? That was a one off. Act. But there you go. Flex tail R05. So I think it's very good. 505 rating. That all the specs will be in the description and it's very detailed so if you like numbers you'll have a fun time reading all that look at it though nice nice and uh, feels quite strong it doesn't feel like that would rip anytime soon i feel strong material that It'll probably leave a bit more air in it if that's me i haven't blown it up properly full enough fills the tent like you've got a gap at the top down at, right down at the bottom that's the gap at the top there that's all right got a little sit mat as well a little zero seat i'll get that up that's the same as that like but like a little square thing you just sit on it <laughs> like die sit on that you're gonna have to hold your breath when you sit on that in case it pops it shouldn't though but yeah that's it that's the mat up anyway yeah i'll let you know in the morning if it's any good Just while I'm uh, tent bound, have a look at my new bag. I like it. It's light as a feather. Really, really wears out this. It's got this ladder system uh, at the back here. The air escape mesh back. My back was nice and dry when I got to the top of here. And I sweated. It was steep, short but steep, and I was dry. My back was wet. No, my back was dry. <laughs> Oh, no. What was my back? I don't know what my back was. It was dry. So I've got it set at the top there. But if you're shorter, you can bring it down here. Osprey. They've added um, side pockets to it. This is, I think these are the new features of it. These are for the... Um, they've got loops there. I don't know what they're for. don't know what anything's for yet. I'm just, I just got it yesterday. It is the Exos 58. The thing that's missing is the bottom pocket, that zip bottom pocket, and there's no there's no clips to um, clip your tent on. I like to clip my tent on the bottom. It hasn't got that. I didn't realise that until I went to put my tent on. But I just put everything in. It's cavernous, like it is absolutely huge. I got everything in there, including the silver mat at the back there. That's for it. That's for a water bladder. There's a hole. A hole goes through there for your uh, for your tube, your water pipe. It's got all sorts of little things on it. I don't know what half these are. Oh yeah, that's a, that fastens that catches everything in. So you can cinch it right up like. It's got an inside mesh pocket and this top pocket as well. It's huge. I've got a lot of stuff in there. A lot of stuff in there. Everything except my little zero flex tail pump. Ah, it's good. Exos, they've changed the design a bit. I remember the old Exos's were quite good. They were quite popular, weren't they? But this dead light, that's what I wanted a lighter bag. The Atmos is uh, it's a good bag, there's loads of space, but it's heavy, you know. It's a heavy bag to start with. And I, I really felt the difference today coming up. I had a full, full stash of beer, right? Again, some of them will probably go back with us. Maybe they might not like, but I had my pan, my sleep, big sleeping bag, that, this mat, this mat wasn't small packed, packed size, it's not tiny. I'll tell you what it is though, it's really warm. I can't believe how warm it is. That's weird. That is literally, that is warm. I, I, I can't explain it, I can't explain it. But yeah, all my gear, everything, all in that backpack. I got it in somehow, so what I've got to do is learn how to pack it better because like i say i only got it yesterday I, I paid for that by the way i bought that i wish i did get sponsored of osprey out of every pack i've got but no i bought that i just like the look of it in that mesh the, pe the pocket on the front as well this the expand pocket on the front is amazing loads of stuff two big side pockets for your water bottles that's good once i get once i suss away to pack it properly That'll be, that'll be good. 
Oh, the weather's just awful. It's not got better. Not any better. Here we are. This is my view. Look at that over there. Nasty. Nasty weather. Naughty weather. Hi. How are you? Got the, um, I very rarely have this guy laying out. I was compelled, ah, I could have just stayed in my van. I had a good night in the van last night. I met up with a, a new friend who wants to remain anonymous, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, we had a good chat, a good laugh. Oh, if you felt your ears burning, that's because we were talking about you. You, talking about everybody. Nah, just chatting, chatting for a while and then uh, no, it's crashed out. Crashed out. Only had a few beers last night. Had a um, had a wander around Keswick today, which uh, I filmed it. If I look on the van channel, filming walking around Keswick, it's embarrassing. Like, cause how busy is Keswick? Everybody was looking, you know. And this this woman went past, and she's like, "Oh, he's a YouTuber by him." <laughs> how do you know? Are you subscribing? Are you a subscriber? Did you see me? Because that's on a different channel, that video. Go and subscribe. The van channel now has got 1,030 subs. So that's good, that's great. It's mint. And if there's ads on there, there shouldn't be, because I haven't monetized it yet. I don't think I, I probably won't, actually. I'm just saying about money, right? Monetizing. Like, next week, I've been asked by one of my friends from work He's a, uh, he's a lad that works on the site, you know, I know him through, I just know him through going to the site. Derek, all right, Derek? He's asked us to go and they're going to do a, he's ex-forces, you know? So they're going to do a, a charity sleep out for Tommy. You know, Tommy is the, the name of the English soldier, the British soldier. And it's for the homeless veterans, right? The homeless veterans. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to an industrial estate, I think. He's got it all worked out. This is next Saturday. And we're going to sleep out rough. Like, as it, when I say rough, I mean like a bivvy bag. I love a couple of luxuries. Like, we're not going to, we're not going to put ourselves in any risk because it's still flipping freezing cold. But we're going to highlight the homelessness of the, the servicemen. And try and raise a little bit of cash. So, have a look in, there'll be a link in that video probably out next Tuesday so like a week from today if this is out on Tuesday I'll release that and um, I'll put a link in that they, that he's gonna give for us for their for their charity so none of it doesn't come to me it goes to it goes just go straight to their link so if you if you want you know if all my subscribers put a penny in that's 3,000 pence per view 3,500 views the last video so that's 3,500 pence. What's that? 350 quid? Not bad, like. Just put a penny in. Stick a pound in if you want. Even better. I uh, so sleep out for Tommy. I'm not looking forward to it, to be fair. <laughs> but that'll uh, be a good laugh. There'll be a few lads there. There'll be a few lads there, so probably have a laugh, you know, but also highlighting the seriousness of it. Hearted. There's a there's a message there. Anyway, I'm gonna put the radio back on. This is just depressing as well. Like, it's too early. It's too early. It's not too early for a cup of tea though. Well, I'm out. Just left the door open to show how windy it is. I'm gonna check the guy lines. And then that should be it. Moving, man. It's not even moving. It's just ridiculous. Thank you. 
you buggers. What we're gonna do now is get busy with fizzy. Fizzy. Look what they've done. They've changed the can. They've changed the can. Brucey, it's still juicy, it's still on it, but look, what have they done? It's better actually because I can't, the previous one, when you crushed it, this this pattern used to come off. It used to get everywhere, it was like paint, flaky paint. It was a nightmare. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get busy with fizzy. I've got some sliced up steak, that is sliced up, can't tell. Some red onions and black scene with some chopped garlic thrown in there. It smells strong, man, really strong. We've got some creme fraiche. 200 grams of creme fresh. creme fresh. Don't need it all, I only need 150 of that, so I'll have to, I'll have to eat it like yogurt. Is, is that right, can you do that? Yeah, I'm doing it. And uh, then we've got some more ingredients and I'm gonna cook it all up in here. Can you guess what we're having? I'll do another impression. Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> Yeah, stop them. So I'm gonna cook it all up on the stove. I don't, I still don't think this is available yet. Like, I need to get onto them about it. It's, they still haven't sent us a link for this cook set, which I'm loving, by the way. But yeah, hasn't um, hasn't come out. And this week, I've brought some mixed pepper Uncle Benskis. British gas prices far too high to go in in the um the whatever I make. So I I'm gonna crack on with that right we'll come back when we're on it. Got a bit of pre preparation to do first. I've got to make sure I'm flat. Flat with that. So you've got the bioethanol in so don't spill it you don't want it on an angle out. I've got plenty of water. The weather is horrific. I don't know if you can Now it's foggy just to make things worse, cloudy or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so I get cracking with the knacking. Oh, it's just not pleasant out here, like. Oh, God. Bleaksville, Bleaksville, Arizona. Oh, come on, back in. Come in, back out. Oh, get back in. Oh, all the water's coming in. Oosh, fell. All right, I'm just getting my stove set up. I'm gonna start. Oof, the scenes because um, I've got the steak in, which is just browning away nicely there. But I've got the the vent open here, but the bloody, again, the wind is coming round. It started off here, and it's gradually coming round like that. There's no need about it. So the condensation city is starting. But, like last time, once I've finished cooking, the wind should dry the tent off inside. I didn't have any condensation last time. Because it was so bloody cold <laughs> and windy. But yeah, that's this. That's the steak. You can see how I cut it. That was one big, um, big cut of sirloin, and I just chopped it into strips. Right. Let that brown. Oh, excuse me. That beer's dead gassy. I'll just let that brown off. That's the veg in. There's the vegetables go in there like that, and then you just put the, put the lid on until they start sizzling, and then add some water in the bovril cube, and then let that bubble up for a while. That steak is so tender. That's the tip. Don't buy stew and beef. Buy steak and slice it up. Much better. So here we go. I've just put um, 200 mils of water in. 200 mils of water. And this is to make the, uh, the stock with the bovril cube. 
the tool, the rock hard them. I don't know what's going on with them. It did melt last time, so I'll just chuck it in. I'll break it up and chuck it in. But I can eat a bovril cube. What's your preference? Bovril or marmite? Oh, there's one. I like bovril. But I like marmite crisps and marmite nuts and that, but I can't eat marmite out of the jar. Whereas I can't eat that straight out of the jar. Anyway, I'm going to crumble that in, make a beef stock, have a lick of bogle, and then I'm just going to let it sit and simmer. I might have to top the ethanol up again, but that's all right. I've got a, I've got some over there. Never ever top your ethanol up when it's a lit, when it's a light, when it's burning. Always put it out, or wait till it dies or whatever. Never ever put ethanol onto a burning flame. Otherwise you lose your tent and possibly your life. All right, oh, I've done that. Oh, it's here, man, it's here. All right, I'm gonna crumble it up in. I'll need two hands because it's really rock hard. Right, so we're up to the stage where oh, the sour cream's going in. It's another weather, man. Look at this. Oh, the steam's terrible. But it's absolutely horrific out there. But you know what, right? I feel so safe in this tent. So we've got the we've got the creme a fraîcheur. And then you put the you put the cold cream into the hot pan. Right? It's two it's three two hundred two hundred mils in there, so you don't need it loads like I'm just gonna hide it all in, you know. Just for just for sure now, you give it a mix of stir, and then you get the strong enough looking, strong enough looking shit. See, see how it changes color. And that's where you get the beef strong enough from. So I'm gonna let that simmer, let the water sort of uh, absorb a bit, and then chuck the rice in. Mix peppers, rice. Not sure if I'm doing the right thing. I might have a, I'll have a little try of this before I do put the rice in. But yeah. That's it, man. I'm a culinary genius. People are not appreciating these bloody cooking skills, man. You're not appreciating me cooking skills. Oh, the hairy bikers. Remember the hairy bikers, man? Oh, the, one of them died. It was Dave, wasn't it? Oh, he was nice, him, man. He was, what a nice man he was. I'll be the new hairy biker. Just need a bike. Got the hair. Oh, that was sad, wasn't it? But there you go, anyway. Beef strong enough. So we'll come back when this is like reduced a bit, a bit thicker sauce, and then we'll chuck the rice in. The rice will absorb a lot of the water. So it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Nice rice. Twice as nice as nice as rice. Lice. Are my density? You are my what? Oh, here we're going. Um, anyway, the strong enough is strong enough. Look, I put the rice in, bulked it out, and it's worked an absolute treat, right? I'm just gonna. No, I'm not going to lie, right? I'm not going to make it up. It's got nothing to do with the, the stove or anything. It's me. It's me. And that is absolutely beautiful. My God. I'm going to eat all of that. That's lovely. It's got a bit wild out there. That is so nice. And that, that beef is so tender. Oh, my God. Oh, I want to eat that for the rest of my life. That's beautiful. Christ. I'm not even joking. Oh. Look at this, man. I'll go out shortly and I'll take a video outside of the tent. There, condensation to just rip it in. Like. I'm hoping it's going to dry off. Might not, though. It's all about the temperature, isn't it? 
the temperatures drop that much. It's just bloody, it's just rain. Oh, this is all off the cook in this, so. Top tip, microfiber towel, very handy. Absolute beautiful. Cup with the beer. Ah, tonight is a good night. Good night for camping. Glad I brought this tent. I'm not sure I'd feel safe in any other tent like but that is getting pretty wild. The one night I don't bring the Kestrel. I was going to bring the wind meter, but I, I thought, nah, I'm not need it. That's 40, 40 miles an hour plus that way. 40 mile an hour wind plus. Ah, that food's beautiful. So I'm going to have that. Crack another can. Time's getting on, I've got a few cans left there. I don't think I'm going to get through all them, like, but you know, they're there in case I do feel like getting through them all, but I don't, don't think I will. And then I'd probably get my head down. This is a bit mad. Like next, next time, next frame will be outside. Because I have to keep getting out, don't I, for natural breaks. Matron. Basically a slash Gordon. It's the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Oof. Zips aren't rattling though, are they? Look. Windy as hell. Can you hear them? Oh, that rain is getting worse. No flappy inner. No flappy inner. All the myths and the like the rumors you hear about with Helleberg tents. Load of rubbish. It's an absolute bombshell of this, and it really is. Look, they're not rattling. There's not a noise, there's not a sound coming off them zips. Not a sound. And you know why? Because it's pitched properly. Oh god. not pleasant and then in contrast all is calm in here the radio on well not when I'm filming but you know radio is on give me a little towel here just to you know when the when you open the door the rain comes in like can't do anything about that but look pretty dry like actually I know I've just dried it with a towel, but it is, it is actually drying up a bit. Oh, oh I'll tell you what, it's harsh conditions then. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have one more beer. I've got, I've got four, I've got four left. I'm just gonna have one more and then I'm gonna go to bed. Because it's quarter to ten, I was up early this morning. 
and it's just an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I'm not gonna get much sleep really. I've got earplugs, but the one thing you can rely on is that this tent's going nowhere. Like it's just the noise of the wind and that'll keep you awake. So we'll be seeing you. Right. We'll talk about this mat in the next video, I think. The little sit mat. I've never had the chance to use it. It's too it's too wet. It's for sitting outside, you know. I was never gonna sit outside in that, was I? But I tell you what, this this is really been dead comfortable tonight. I've got it in a right mess already, but it's really comfy. I might let a little bit of air out of it, just a little bit hard. I'll, I'll put too much air in. Ooh, it's cold, right. We'll see in the morning, eh? If we survive. Never stop raining. The uh, the wind never stopped. <laughs> but look, got hair at a place. All right, yeah, solid as a rock. dry but you know it'll be dry for the next time so I'm gonna get in pack all my stuff away sleep smart spot on nice and comfortable nice and comfortable nice and warm really really good oh, it's warm like no cold spots yeah I like it nice and wide as well so I didn't roll off it so it's all good Mat. Highly recommended. Mm. Oh dear. Right. Let's get on with it. Slow pack away. There's no rush. It's seven o'clock. No rush. Flat grass. Nothing. <laughs> bleak. Bleak, bleak, bleak. But at least I was out. Man, 
managed to get out, nearly bailed out, you know, nearly didn't do this. I thought, ah, the hell with it. Come all this way just to go home, it's not worth it. So that was my spot there. My path back is there through the bog of doom. It is boggy as well. Nice lightweight backpack, this. It just feels different, it really does feel a lot lighter. There's the same stuff in it as well, that's weird. And I brought a few cans back. Three cans, I think, I brought back. So, I might start cutting down on the beer I bring up. Like, it just doesn't seem to be worth it, does it? After my rant last week. Alright, so, head back to the van. And I might get, I'll get changed in that into my dry clothes. Because I'm going to end up drenched here. And then we'll, we'll see you on the next one. As Gary Glitter said, I'm back, I'm back. It's good to be back.